Good afternoon, folks. Admiral Preparedness here. Let's talk about gardening. For all you folks out there who are tried and true and old timers at it, this won't mean much to you. But a few brand new folks out there just about ready to get into digging in the ground because winter's finally over. Remember a couple things, a couple tips. Don't overwater, don't underwater, and protect whatever you're growing from intruders and peering eyes and envious neighbors. Nothing worse than going out there and doing all that work and then the day you go to grab it to take it and put it inside it's all gone or it's been nibbled on by critters and birds and all those other mammals living out there that crawl around on floors. When you're planning out your garden plan out the protection of it also from the air, from the ground, and from underground. Always remember that there's always somebody going to try to take your food either while it's growing or after you've got it, got it all grown and about ready to pick it. I remember time and time again, I've gone to friends' gardens to help them tend it and found when I turned over that beef eater tomato, a green tomato bug just happily munching away at it or birds had come in and picked all the berries or the rodents have gotten in and started making a home in some of your thatch and left their little... You know, who wants to eat something that's already been partially eaten? Budget that in because sometimes, you know, nobody thinks about it until it's actually happened and the cow's already out of the barn. It's always something to think about, folks. Fertilizer. Make sure you've got plenty left over so you got something for next year in case you can't get it. Always buy, always double up on your seeds because that way you can put them away. If you know how to get seeds out of your food after it's been harvested, hey, more up on you. There's plenty of information out there right here from the internet, but the best thing to do is have it in written material. There's all those little garden clubs you can go out there and join. There's community gardens you can go out and join. If you're living in rural areas, go seek out your uh, your um, 4-H clubs. A lot of kids will be happy to come on over and help out. It just All you got to do is ask. Sunday morning when you're there to worship, talk about it there too. After meetings, at work, if you're ch chatting around the water tank, Go ahead and chat about gardening. Please, we need to make sure that everybody can have food. And don't waste it. Don't let it rot. I mean, right now, you talked about right after this uh, ick hit, people couldn't get their crops collected and they just sat out there and rotted on the ground. More people dumped food, dumped milk. That's ridiculous. But it happens. When you go to the grocery store, if you're not going to eat it, freeze it. If you have a dehydrator, use it. If you're fortunate enough to have a freeze dryer, that's what that's what that's for. Just thought I kind of talk about that a little bit, folks. Yeah, I'm a preparedness here. And remember, folks, it can happen from the north, it can happen from the south, it can happen from the east, or coming from the west. Always be prepared. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, or I'll be out there waiting for you to come to me. Admiral Preparedness, God bless you all.